up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. I hope the beginning of your week has been awesome or is still going awesome, whatever you're in the middle of. How many of you guys are at work and all that sort of stuff right now? What's up? Oh, man. It's been a Monday. I've had a long... Oh, man. It's the best Monday I've had. In... Oh, well, that's good. That's a good Monday. People are saying they've had a good Monday. What is going on, everybody? How is it going? Look at all those people dropping some bits already. Thank you very much for kicking it off there. Yawning salmon. What is a yawning salmon? Oh, it's like a, it's a good looking fish right there. Um, I am doing well. Uh, we had the video that we just released today, which was, uh, which was actually cool, right? Like I love uh, getting to do just nice things for people. And uh, uh, we partnered with NZXT and Western Digital. And I really enjoyed making this video. And I think, honestly, I think it came out really good. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. Uh, there's a chance to win uh, up to three Western Digital SN 570s and $100 just cash. Um, so if you could go check it out, that would be awesome. But I, I really just enjoyed uh, making uh, making the uh, the video, and it's a lot of fun. So it's my Friday, but it's my Monday. Got it, Grumble. Well, there you go. It's just a little flipping it up. But yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun. So I'm having a good day so far, and we are building one hell of a monster PC today. I mean, it is, it's got every bell and whistle it possibly could. If he could put more in, he would have, um, but it just, uh, there's a, there's a uh, yeah, I OP'd his comp. Yeah, exactly, I basically made it thing. Yeah, I'm glad people enjoyed it. Um, but, uh, and yeah, we really, we had a lot of fun, but we are making probably one of the most ridiculous builds. <sighs> To be clear, the most ridiculous AIO builds that we've done, um, which has pretty much everything. Oh, somebody has COVID. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm glad that we are doing it. It should be fun. It's going to be long. I have a feeling this is not going to be a short stream because we are maxing out everything we can put inside of this case as much as we can. But before we do all that, let's talk about the giveaways and all of that stuff. And so we'll go from there first and foremost. Uh, we have the two level five hype trains, which I'd love to get started soon because like I said, this is gonna be a longer run. So thank you very much for Mass Ruby for that subscription. Uh, basically, this is the way this is gonna work <clears throat> is we, uh, if you wanna get, uh, if you wanna get, uh, uh, we wanna get two level five hype trains, we give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. If we get 500 likes on the YouTubes, 500 likes on the YouTubes, uh, we also give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Uh, we also have down in the corner, you'll see where it says one of 50. If we get to 50 subs, comes a $50 new gift card. If we get to 100 subs, comes a $100 new gift card. If we get to 150 subs, comes a $150 new gift card. Um, and so uh, there's gonna be, a, and then it starts to grow from there. 200 subs, uh, 250 subs, becomes a 5600X. Uh, 300 subs becomes a 3050. And we start giving away GPUs and all that sort of stuff. So um, <clears throat> it, should, it should be a lot of fun. And I'm hoping we're uh, able to give away some cool stuff today. We also have that new giveaway, uh, which we've just added, which is uh, $25. All you gotta do is leave a quality comment down in the YouTube video when it's all said and done. Uh, you just need to make sure it's just $25. It will give you either PayPal and Venmo, pretty much open to anybody in any country. Uh, all you gotta do is make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and then we'll, uh, and in your YouTube profile, that there's some way for us to get a hold of you. And so we'll, put, we'll pick the winners for the, the, the three, the streams at the end of every week. Um, and then uh, just get you uh, reached out to you and uh, drop you guys that cash. So it should be, uh, which should be a lot of fun. Um, and then lastly, today is the last day to get in on the RTX 3070 Ti sub only giveaway for the month of January. So if you want to get in on that, today is your last day. Now it's subs only at twitch.tv slash robytech. So if you're at youtube.com slash robytech or twitch.tv slash new eight, you got to pop on over, drop your free Amazon Prime subscription. If you drop your free Prime subscription, uh, then you basically get an entry. Now, if you've gotten gifted subs over the course of the stream or over the course of the month, you can do things like use your Prime subscription and end up getting an extra entry. That's a huge way to get some help. Praying I'm good. Thank you very much for the uh, subs as well as Spiteful Robin. Um, uh, that's a good way to get extra entries. And if you gift subs like Praying I'm Good just did, that'll give you one extra entry per gifted sub. The second thing you can do is subscribe at tier two and tier three. That's worth five extra entries at tier two and 10 extra entries at tier three. So uh, we are just one item away. Uh, we're one item away from basically unlocking the first hype train and kicking this off. So not happy with me. What did I do, Electric Grandpa? Hey, GSX Therapy, what's going on, man? Thank you very much to sub. And he comes in goat and starts the, uh, site, the hype train. What if you pay for the retreat, the RT, your RT sub? I don't know what that means. 
RT sub. What is that? My, what if I pay for your Roby Tech sub? I don't, huh? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna pay for me? You're gonna, you're gonna sub for me? Uh, Mallory, thank you very much for the Prime sub. There we are, guys, level two, let's get it going. I'd love to get to 50. Uh, you know, we had such a great first uh, hype train the first day, so I'm hoping to get to do that again, and that'd be great. What's up, AO Snipes? Thank you very much. We, AO Snipes had a really gnarly surprise, but we got it all squared away. I took your everyone's advice and got the 4 d and turned out super nice. It's a great, that's a great case. Uh, Moses7, uh, or Moses7, you might be on twitch.tv slash newegg. You might want me to pop over to twitch.tv slash robytech. That might be why you're having the... Uh, this uh, commission is for Magic Dave. I don't know if he's here on the sub, but he, it's for Magic Dave. So he's uh, he is a CAD. He does a bunch of engineering stuff. So this is not just for gaming. It's for a bunch of stuff, which is actually pretty cool. Hey, what's up? Hey, thank you very much for all the hello and everybody else. I got to replace my Air 540 soon. Oh, okay. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good Monday. Hey, Mel's, Melchizedek. Melchizedek. Melchizedek, yeah, Melchizedek. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. My, uh, Mebenjikor, thank you very much for the also subscribing at one month. Thank you very much, my friend. It's heart racing, literally. Hey, Evo, how are you, man? It's good to see you. I hope the PC is treating you well. Yeah, I know, sorry about that, man. But thank you very much for taking care of that. <clears throat> Racker 2020, just saying forced. Oh, first, I think he was meant to say. I think, I, I think he just misspelled it. He needs, a, he needs an undo. So come on guys, level three, and then we can start talking through parts. We got a lot to do today. What's up, Buster? How are you, man? Drafaz, what's up, buddy? One month at tier three, thank you very much. It's good to see you, my friend. It's been a while. Hope your PC continues to crank. Thank you very much, Olsen34, for the one month, five month anniversary. We got a 20 month anniversary from Drafaz. A uh, let's see, we got Ace, AC Pegafish. Uh, subscribe with one month, thank you very much. BKN Caliber, five gifted subs. Thank you, appreciate you, my friend. And then we got Ma, Ma, Marcan, 9904, one month at tier one. We got Moimoy, 1422, uh, Prime, thank you very much. Uh, we got uh, Sweet Sugar Lumps, Sweet Sugar Lumps, uh, subscribe with Prime, and then we got Gamu 65 gifted subs. We got B Mockig. B Mockig. Uh, one gifted subs. We got Moses 7 subscribing with one month at tier one. Hey, there you go. You figured it out. Thank you, man. Welcome to the family. And we are now 19 away from 50, guys. Let's see if we can get to that 50 and, and uh, start already on the, uh, the right foot because I, I have a feeling there's a good chance. Anytime we do longer streams, there's always a good chance of uh, a little bit better. Um, <laughs> trying to slide me a 30 90, huh? No. Uh, I'm doing good, Grimacy. Thank you for asking. Hey, I'm glad. Hey, Filth Pig, thank you for the five gifted subs. David, welcome to the welcome to a live show. What's happening? Everything and nothing all at the same time. So much stuff is happening. I'm so upset at Micro Center. I got a 36, as they said it was, went for the build, but it was silver and gold. What build, what, what 3060 Ti did you get? Hi there, just built my first PC yesterday. Everything turned on, gave me a post, but everything would change, wouldn't cha change, will just stay in the same screen. Will let me in the BIOS and also have the DRAM LED lit. Hey, Eskimo, go talk in tech support. Me trying to do that on the stream is really hard, but hopefully somebody's able to help you out here. Uh, hi, Roby, left my dad. Hi, hi Roby, my dad was from Renton. Oh, nice, okay, so he's, he's, he's close to here. Three minutes left. Let's see, can we get those last subs? That would be awesome. Roby, Roby. House of Tom, it's good to see you. I'm gonna change this whole build halfway through just so you can make, make some, more, uh, some, more, some more links. That's what I like to do for Tom. Everybody say, hi, Tom. Tom's got a new website, and I didn't look at it at all. Dude, today was crazy with the launch of that NZXT video. I'm sorry, man. I'll be asleep, wow. Tom, Tom, he's all, he always knows how to kick back. It's not fair. He's not supposed to have those, those quips. He's not supposed to be that, that quick-witted. Two minutes, 34 seconds, guys. 37, we're 13 subs away. Let's do it. Juggalo Jimmy, five gifted subs. Me, Benji Core, dropping 100 bits. Taking it to the 42, we're now eight subs away. Eight, ah, ah, ah. 
I prog I did, and that's the problem. I gave you too much of my wit, too much of my personality. You're a threat to the Robitech empire. Soon it will be Tom Tech, TT, TT builds. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway. U.S. only for PC giveaway. There is no PC giveaway. I went through the giveaways already. Gain, gain, gain it, gain, gain it. Yeah, I don't know. I think what it is. Gain, thank you for the five gifted subs. The House of Tech. That's better. Yeah, the House of Tech. That's. I like that a little bit better. This PC must be max three thousand dollars. Nope. This PC is five thousand five thousand eight hundred dollars. This is not a three thousand dollar build at all. Tech Tom. Tom Tom. Tom Tech. These are all great names. I don't even know what's going on here, man. I think these are, these are you know. so yeah, I'm just saying. Guys, three subs away, one minute and 23 seconds left. We're so close. Tech talk with Tom. That's a lot of T's. That's too many T's. No, you praying I'm good, you're fired. <laughs> Davis Young, thank you very much. Mr. President Streaming. Look at Mr. President Streamer dropping out five gifted subs. Davis, v for all also resubscribing for three months. There it is, 54 of 50, and we can move on to the next, the next evolution. Uh, let's go to here. Nope, that's not the right. I am failing today. Uh, it's on here it is. Okay, so we're at 54 of 50. Uh, no, we're at 56, 55 of 50. Okay, cool. So we're gonna end this one, go to $100 new gift card. Keep it going though, guys. I want to give away a GPU. <clears throat> what time is it for you right now? It's 2.46, but we are going to get started with this build. We got 18 seconds left and we'll get everything started uh, and go from there. I'm, I'm getting something from it. And by the way, I apologize for the 30 minutes late. I know that didn't help, but uh, the food took a little longer to get here, and I needed to eat. I needed to eat, so that was the that was the thing. What coolers for the uh, 12900K? Uh, I would recommend uh, the uh, either the uh, Z73, the EVGA CLC 360 was worked pretty well with that, and then also one we're using today, the H150i Elite, with some good fans. I am doing good. Thank you for asking. Let's talk about parts in this. $5,800 build that we're doing today. So starting at the uh, at the tippy top, the core, which is funny because it says core on this one, but the core of this build is the Intel Core i9-12900K, currently the king of all CPU stack that's currently existing outside of the KS, which actually isn't out yet. Uh, but this is about the best that you can get right now. So absolutely awesome. I got nothing else to say. That's It's just a monster CPU. I think that's very cool. We're putting this inside of a monster, and yes, this one has been fixed, so don't worry, it's not gonna catch on fire. A monster motherboard. This is the ROG Maximus Z690 Hero. Um, he, I'm a hero because he's been wanting this board. We were gonna put it inside of a Strix board, and then we actually happened to get one, so uh, yeah, this is a beefy boy. And you guys have seen this from another build before, um, and so uh, we're gonna use this for him, and it's uh, it's, yeah, it's just gonna be magical. Now, as if DDR5 isn't uh, crazy enough, we've got 64 gigs of our Corsair Platinum RGB DDR5. This is at 5,200 megahertz. You know, just a small amount of DDR5 RAM. Um, he's actually gonna go to 128. Now, <laughs> Tom was sending me the link on Corsair for this, um, and, uh, and it was, how much was it? It was $12,000 for this RAM. Now this RAM is not, yeah, 20,000, yeah. $20,000 for this RAM. This RAM is not $20,000. If it is, that's crazy. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is, that's what it said. No, it said 20, yeah, 20K. Uh, so anyway, $20,000 RAM, it's, it wasn't that much. But anyway, uh, that's, that's what it says. So this build is, uh, this build's $25,000 because of this $20,000 RAM. Um, going right there um, for storage and again you guys are gonna see a trend here because it's like all kind of the best stuff uh, For storage we're using fire CUDA 530 NVMe SSDs. That's right um, And that so that would be uh, there's 500 K and then a 2 terabyte 500 gig and 2 terabyte of fire CUDA 530s These are 7500 megabits per second pretty much the best NVMe SSDs you can get that are on the market right there So there we go another best uh, just coming up coming up hot uh, here 
uh, for this build. And then we've got a four terabyte Western Digital Black, just physical drive. Um, so a good, just good gaming drive, you know, six gigabits per second, that sort of thing uh, should be uh, good as well. Um, there it is. <clears throat> uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, for cooling that bad boy, because we wouldn't use anything else, we're using the Corsair H150 Elite LCD. Um, this one has all of the bells and whistles, plus that cool screen. Um, we are going to be using uh, QL120s throughout this entire build. In fact, we're putting 10 of them inside of this build, three in the front, three on the side, three at the top with the cooler, and then of course, one in the back. So it's gonna have maximum fans, all the fans. Guys, I want you guys to do this. It's so much power um, and going from there. So there's, there is that. Uh, for our GPU, because you know what, we're just gonna keep on the trend of Epic. Uh, we're using the GeForce RTX Strix 3080 Ti. I mean, the only thing that would be better is if you got a 3090 or a 3090 Ti. 3090 Ti is not out yet, but there it is, the Strix GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. Unlimited power, no, from there. And then of course, making sure that we keep it all nice and nice and awesome, the EVGA 1000 G6. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's, the, uh, that's the end all be all. There's all the parts, and all this is going inside of the very awesome Corsair 5000D. Airflow. So yeah, this is the whole build. It's, uh, you know, like I said, not cheap coming in at 5,800 bucks with everything. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit of overkill. <clears throat> uh, I do need to go grab some Asian horse cable. Now this build will have uh, streamers in it, but the 24 pin is late. So we're just gonna be putting up some Asia horse in it just in the, in the short term. Um, and then uh, we'll replace those with the uh, with uh, the other ones when they come in. I'm just gonna grab a pair of double for now. I guess we'll use white because white probably makes the most sense, just given that the strimmers are gonna be white. So this will be the closest in terms of look. So we're gonna use these Asia Horse double CPU whites, uh, Then he, but he will have Lee and Lee strimmers in here. So there we go. This is the build. This is the build. And then we're also gonna put in it my eggy, we're gonna put my eggy in it. We're gonna put my eggy in it. That's gonna go into the build. So we're gonna put the eggy in it. And then we're also gonna put this Oris Eagle in it, even though there's no Oris ports, Oris parts for it. Uh, Strimmer are uh, RGB, Strimmer are RGB, um, are RGB cables. So yeah, it's uh, Strimmers are the RGB cables. Um, so we're gonna put this in it and we're gonna put this Panda keycap in it as well, because that will also help make it sp uh, make it fast as well. Um, and then we're also gonna put this uh, Forza Horizon, this Forza Horizon controller in it. Um, that's gonna go in it too, um, which should be good. Uh, and then lastly, I think no build wouldn't be complete without also having a lamp. So. These are all the things that we're gonna be putting inside of this build. Um, so we're gonna be putting all of this stuff inside of it as well. I think it will help with it. What do you guys think? <laughs> Yard sale. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna put some more stuff in. <laughs> just, just because. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I feel, I feel like, I feel like it's gonna go a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put a lamp in it. Um, because you know, lamps, they, they make everything better. I think that was up there. I don't even remember where I put all this stuff. Okay, we got our little Oris dude. Little Oris dude's gonna go back over here. I don't know, I don't even remember now where this stuff was on the set. Oh, my eggy. I was like, oh, there's something still I put in here that's not going in there. All right, cool. So that's all the parts that we're putting inside the build. Let's start putting it together. What do you guys say? Oh, I couldn't get the kitchen, yeah. I couldn't get the kitchen sink. Ah, it doesn't fit on the table. I can't believe we're putting a physical drive in a build. I mean, like, I mean, I understand why he's doing it. It's just been so long since we've actually done this, you know? Okay. Ugh. We got all sorts of fans. You know what I'm gonna do first? Actually, before we do the motherboard, I'm gonna, before we do the motherboard, guys, I mean, normally we do the motherboard first, but we have so many blooming fans that I'm gonna put the fans in first. 
because so many fans. So we're gonna put the fans in first and then we'll do the board. So much fans, so many fans, lots of fans. Is that better? Is it better now that you guys can see that I wasn't really putting the, that I wasn't really putting all that stuff in the build to make you feel better? All right, so, let's, so we're gonna strip our case first and put all these fans in and then we'll go from there. I will feel better when all the fans are in because it's just like the fans, it's like giving me, yeah, it's only fans. This build is actually gonna have nothing but just fans in it. Ugh. Okay, so let's strip this case down. There we go. Stripping the case. This is rated PG-13. So just be careful. I don't have to have this conversation with your kids about case nudity. That's, that's for you to do. Your kids are watching, they'll be like, what is he talking about, mom and dad? Be like, I'll talk to you about it later, son. Okay, uh, let's see what else. We need to take this back part off. Ugh. Yeah, I like this case a lot. Yeah, this is rated C for case strippage. What is it? What do you think the, uh, what do you think that like, do you think case nudity like should be like something that like Twitch bans? Like just lots of case nudity? Should that be, should be something they have to worry about? All the case nudity? All the case nudity. Okay, there we go. And then lastly, we got our little, our little tape here. Let's go to side camera. Oh. Get all this tape out of the way. Nobody wants the tape. Okay, tape is done. And we'll take this off. And we'll take this out because we're gonna actually switch this out for the real one. Now to prep the rest of the case, we're gonna take this off. Okay, I think we're kind of at a good spot. Like the case is fully naked now. It's a naked case. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this right here because we're not gonna use it. We are not gonna use it. So we're gonna take it off. I think it's right here. Right, yeah. Okay, so let's grab our screwdriver. Why is it, can't, it's doing, it's doing that thing again. Hold on guys, it's being out of focus. There you go. Oops, I totally kicked it and that's still not in focus. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this little cover here. No, I'm not gonna do it this way. This is wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Don't do that, Roby. You can do it that way. Actually, I wanna do it from in here. There's another one up there. Wow, this is like genuinely like hard to screw here. Okay, we got that one off, and then now, that's this one, right? Yep. Okay, so then we take this off, it's here at the top. There we go. Okay, 
Must be one more down here. There it is. Okay, should be everything. Trying to get the side, there it is. Okay, side panel is now off. So we just remove this right here because he wants all the fans, all the fans. Okay, so that takes care of that. Oh. And then let's get this out and switch this out. A little bit of case prep here, but nothing too crazy. There you go. Okay. Just remove that. Okay, so there. we. Our case is now stripped in the right way. Then we're gonna take this one Put this in. Okay, now we go. Okay, so all of our fans are back in and our cases configured correctly. Now we're just gonna do is remove these fans here because we're gonna be going to QLs. We're gonna start adding fans. Yeah, it's a fan case build. It's all, there's nothing else to this build. There's actually nothing, there's no other parts. It's just fans in this build. Nothing else, we don't really need it. It's just really cool. Okay, that one's ready. One more fan to be removed in the back here. Fans. So there's all the fans we're gonna remove. So now we're gonna flip this around and then disconnect them so we can take them out. I'm gonna bring up this thing a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so now let's undo this. that one and then we're gonna untwisty tie this little bad boy oops <clears throat> fans gonna fall we're gonna get it out of there <clears throat> okay now the good thing is we with this USB hub and the USB hub and the commander core it comes with the H150, we can do 12, uh, 12 fans and we only have 10 going in. So we should be good there. So here now becomes the part where, remove this. And now we start adding fans. We've taken the fans away, we've stripped the case down. Now it's time to start putting fans in. Massive amounts of fans. Okay. First set of three. Yeah, there's 10 fans going into this case. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I could, you're right. But then I wouldn't have it like then, then we would actually have a problem. I could do push pull and do 13. That's right, I forgot about that. I think I'm supposed to actually do push pull. I just need to add, I think I'd have to run six off of the AIO. And I could have six off of the thing. I would just have to do the exhaust. All right, yeah, let's do push pull. So I need nine fans. Need three more fans. There we go. We're gonna do we're gonna do push pull. Forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. We're doing 13 fans. I did say I was gonna do that. 13 fans. I forgot about that creamy thick. Yes. I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put OnlyFans out of business. Now, luckily I only have 10 RGB fans to worry about, which is fine. Okay, there we go. That's all we need for, oh, I haven't opened this all yet, so it's a little bit of, I'm, I'm a little bit in a weird spot. Usually I have all this stuff set up, but I don't have that for this one. Okay, so first group of fans. It's not like these fans are like quick either because they like they just require they require a lot to get to the point where you can actually install them as well. It's like half that like I haven't even gotten to points uh, the point of putting them in the case yet because of all the stuff I have to do like peel and lots of peels. Okay, now, last thing, I gotta freaking cut all the cables off of these. We can almost install them, guys. Okay, you can finally install the fans. Okay, now for this, just for the sake of making this manageable, let's use the wow stick. Thank you for all the prime subs, guys. We're uh, getting up on that. We're starting to go, let's get to the 100. All right, there we go. Grab our wow stick. <clears throat> Start getting these fans in. It's fan time, fan mountain time, guys. Here we go. We actually mount fans now. Lots of fans. I don't think it's actually gonna work here. There we go.
No, I don't have time for this. I have so many fans to install, don't fall. Wow, this screw is just not helping me at all. That was two minutes of the show. I can never get back because of that screw. Okay, there we go. Now all these are in. Now I can just put the other screws in. Whoops. Okay, there's three fans. Who's happy? Who's happy about the three fans I put in? Because that was a lot of fans to get installed. I'm trying to think of... Because I don't want to run them through the back. Oh, I guess I can run them through and up. Because they have some, I don't, well, no, because then, oh, okay, we'll figure out, we'll figure out fan running here in a second. Because usually you'd run them through the back behind the case, but I can't do that on this one because it's not there. So let's get our other nine fan. let's get our other fans in. Next up, more fans. Now what I can do and what I might do is just for the sake of brevity is go ahead and hook all these up to the commander core and the six fan hub above. And then, sorry, the, the lightning node pro and then uh, the fan up above because then all of these will be actually cable managed already. I don't have to worry about anything else. I might just do that because then the other fans, the other six fans will all come off of the, off of the commander core and then I'll just run the one single exhaust off of the, the the one single exhaust off of the motherboard. Okay, there's that. Now we just do the peels. One peel. Two peels. Three peels, okay. Flip it over. Okay, come on. Man, that peel slowing me down, guys. One more peel. Yeah, filling all the fans. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, finally got all the fan freaking peels done. Okay, Whew. that's a lot of work just to get the dang fans. Okay, let's get. Okay.
I guess you guys really just wanted to watch all the fans get made. I mean, that's really what it was. Like, you were like, you know what I want to do? Just an episode where you just put in fans, Roby. Nothing but fans. So many times, fan, just fan, 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 all the time. You know what I'm saying? Look at this fan. Hey, it's a fan show. That's right. Let's put this fan in and this fan in. So I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna run this, right? Cause I guess I could run three of them. I guess I could run two of them up and in. They need to get these meh, routed for me to do this last one. Yeah, I should, if I look at that. Curious though, will this have enough length if I do this? And this is just the first fan. Yeah, that seems to be okay. Question is, where's this RGB gonna go? Okay, what I'm working on right now is just making sure that we have cable management so the fan stuff is hidden. Okay, a little bit more one up here. Just get cable management done. All these fans, we definitely don't want to see any freaking cables. That's not the point. Okay. I can just pull these taut. Okay, let's get one more up here. It's like trying to give you guys a good view of this, but it's, where I'm working is kind of odd. Let me do, I'll just go over to the other side and then do it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, what we're working on here is just making sure that
much of these cables. Okay. It's important. And normally you would not have to worry about this because you'd have that panel to hide them behind. But because I don't have that panel, I can't hide the cable. So I have to run them up and then hide them this way. Okay, so now we have all those cables out of the way. Okay, now we can put our other fans in. Okay, so now we've got those hidden. Let's get our other fans in. That was a lot more work than I expected. Because if you couldn't see, it wouldn't matter as much, but because you can see through the back of the fans, you don't want to run cables directly behind the back of the fans, you know? getting there. Oh, come on. Man, this thing is not staying at all. Okay, so we just need to figure out where these are supposed to line up. So I'm working on right now. And yes, I have them as intake, I know that. No, I have them as exhaust. Yeah, I don't want that. I want an intake, son of a. Yeah, I want. I don't want exhaust, I want the intake. And dyslexia, that's right. Okay. Okay, one fan in, 
More fans to go. So many fans. So little time. Okay. That's what I want, right? Right now I just need to get the fans to where I want them placed. Okay, last fan. Of the build. Of this, this collection of the build, I guess. Okay. Okay, now we have what I want from a... Here we go. Okay, now we can... Okay. Okay, six fans in. So many, only, it's, so, it's funny because it's less than half right now. But the other fan, like the, the push-pull fans are fast, so they're just gonna, when we do the AIO, it'll all make sense. Okay. Okay, almost with all the front fans. Okay, two more fans, two more screws. One more screw. Okay, there we go. Okay, all the fans are in for the front. We can cut these cables. Let me give one more. A couple. Just like need to be. Okay, once that goes in, that'll fix that problem. Okay, so now we have controlled cables and fans for the front. Man, this one is being a pain in the butt here. Is there anything I can catch this on to? But... Thank you. 
Okay, that holds the cables back. Okay, cool. Okay, so now that's all clean, looks nice. Let's go ahead, just for the sake of it, because we're still on the OnlyFans part of the screen of this build. Let's go ahead and hook up the, everything into the lighting node and the fan hub, and then we'll be in good shape. Let's go to top down. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, this is like seriously the like most non-entertainment part of the screen or the, the build, but hey, it's got to get done. And even though we have like nothing else, it's just going to be a whole lot easier if I just get this stuff done and managed before I even get to the build here. So we do not have a lot of RGB links here. There you go. Okay, so there's these are all the RGB, no, that's all the, this is all the RGB stuff for that, the front three fans. This is all the fan hub stuff here. Okay, so this is all of our, this is all of the fans, the front fans. Just gonna get these under control here. Okay, so there is our first clump of six cables, our first three, and they're all connected and good to go. Okay, so we have three things actually hooked up now. Okay, so that's those three. Now let's hook up our other three things, which is our, our normal bottom fans. Don't want any extra stuff here so I can cable manage the way I need to.
Okay, here's our other six, our other three fans. We have six fans total. Okay, there's those all hooked up. Those all hooked up. Now, let's figure out where we can make this RGB hub land. That's the question. We gotta get the, co the commander core somewhere. This right here. Could do it actually right here. Let's see what we got from a length standpoint here. It looks like it actually would go right here, even though it's gonna have those cables across. I could run those cables underneath this hub, so they'd be hidden. I might do that. And then put it right there, which would be fine. Uh, there's, you can't really make a gaming PC, a really good gaming PC for around 500 bucks. At that point in time, it would actually probably be better for you to just buy an Xbox or a um, PlayStation 5. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna hide these other cables here. Things you do for cable management, folks. And now you can't see the cables. couple here that actually are from the okay. 
Come on, there we go. This is like gonna be like the slowest part, but at the same time, like by doing it this way as we go, then it's just gonna make it a whole lot easier for me to do the other parts as we get to it. Okay. That takes care of those. No, those are out of the way. Run these. And that'll take care of all of our our RGB. and then just run them all. <sighs> okay, let's do that too. Run them all underneath. Let's go ahead and cut this. Figuring this out as we go, guys. Welcome to puzzle solving. It's uh, cable management puzzle solving. Wow, this is like, as cool as this is going to be when it's done, it's just kind of being a pain in the butt right now. What is this? What is this cable? Oh, okay, it's, I just have a bunch of extra cable that's like sticking. Uh, that's okay. I'm trying to get all the extra stuff out, which is the problem. There we go. Okay, now we have the bare minimum under there. There we go. 
That's much better. Okay. Put this back on. Call it a day. Okay. Last screw, and then we've got all our cable management for this thing done. Okay, cool. So that looks really good. Okay, cool. That looks good. Let's get this done, and then we'll finish this out. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me cut these because I just have like a bunch of excess stuff right now. Okay, so now we have all this, and now what I can do is start pulling this stuff down. So it's all the right direction. Crap, do you have something to twist them in there? What you do is you just kind of pull stuff down to so get it into like a kind of a nice little clean spot like that. Perfect. Now, zip tie that down and then we've got pretty much all of our, our fans are like in their element because we don't have to change anything here at the top. There we go. And then we'll just do kind of a tighter group down. And I might just, I'm, I'm probably going to end up doing, so like, it's, and don't be afraid of this, like as you're watching me do this, like you, what I, sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a smaller group of cables like this, like aren't part of the main branch. And there's no problem with just zip tying a small group just to keep, just to do the right thing from a cable management standpoint as we get these fans kind of into their plot. this out. All this is just about getting these fans controlled and then we're pretty much in a good spot here. I'm just trying to get everything to 90 degree angles from the fan standpoint. And then I can put the rest of the spine around it later. Okay, a little bit left and then we're done. There we go. Okay. There you go, now you've got clean, clean cables. They're still bunched by type. looks good. So that light giant mess we got down to those little clumps. See, there you go. And then it looks all nice and clean. I'll probably just do one more right there. Keep this clean and then that was probably to be honest, guys, it was probably the most gruesome part of the 
cable management because it's like the, it's just all the blooming fans. Just a lot of cables to manage with Corsair fans. But, so thanks for sticking with it. You guys have like the most entertaining part of the build still left. See, how does that look? Much better, right? There we go, guys. Okay, now I think we can actually put the motherboard together. And I like how this is hidden, right? Like how this is all, like how all the stuff is all clumped together, which is actually pretty cool. It looks actually really clean. And then we can just do this and seal off this top part. There we go. See, that looks good. Oh, we can't see, oh no, the camera. You know what, I'm gonna move that. I just don't think it's in the right, it's in a good spot, hold on. There we go. There you go. So now, yeah, we, what we did is I went ahead and ran all of the fan cables. So the fan cables just route and then go underneath this and then to the spine. Then the spine itself is actually just a group of cables. So all the cables are still loose here, but for the most part, very, very clean in terms of how it looks. And then we'll add the commander core right here. Um, or even further down if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, it's just like a nice clean thing. And then I leave the labels on. People are probably like, why don't you remove the labels? That's because if he decides to rewire this or anyway, I want him to know that these are the RGB cables versus the fan cable. So I leave the, the fans on for that thing, but yep. Okay, so now we got six fans installed and cable managed. So uh, that is it for today. That was two hours, just kidding. That's not it for today. But we got six fans installed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and put our motherboard together. And then all we have to do is put our AIO together, which we're gonna do push-pull. So this is gonna have a total of 13 fans. But to be honest, from a cable management standpoint, that was probably the, like I said, the most gruesome part for sure. So um, yeah, hype train, there we go, Juggalo. Okay, so let's go and grab our motherboard now and actually put the board and stuff together. But yeah, thanks for sticking with that, guys. I know that was, sometimes those aren't the most fun to watch, but to be honest, man, they're like a, they're like a puzzle every time, right? Like just cable managing. So it's actually, I really kind of enjoy it. High cognitive load, we might say. Okay, top down, here we go. Get this bad boy, bad boy set up. Beautiful, big old board. Did some testing on it earlier just to make sure it worked. There wasn't any issues. So all the peels and stuff are kind of already done. We've got that SATA cap cable in here and all that stuff, nothing we need to worry about. Oh, we do need one SATA cable. Hey, CKCC's here, really? What is up, man? It's been a while. Did he figure out how to get his, uh, did he figure out how to get his, uh, his, um, his account all squared away? I knew he was having issues logging in. Oh, it's, I miss you, my friend. Welcome back. I know he pops in and out. He's a busy dude. But thanks for being here today. Yes, there is a difference between NVMe SSD and SATA SSD. NVMe SSDs are significantly faster, significantly. Look at that, I missed a bunch of, uh, Missed a bunch of subs. Thank you very much, guys. Getting us to 74. That's huge. Thanks for doing that. Okay. Let's get this done. Let's 
Two Factor is back, huh? How's your son? Is he doing okay? Does he still enjoy watching the show? I know that was the whole thing it kind of started was him and you enjoying it as a as a cup as a group. So I hope he's still enjoying it. Getting that clean. Okay, cool. 254, 500 likes, guys. I'm gonna take a drink. Ugh. Oh, nice. Do you enjoy it? Sounds like he did. That's rad, dude. Cool, I always love those kind of stories, man. Well, it's good to have you here for a show. Appreciate it. I know you have uh, quite the, uh, the array of material to build with, too, which is nice. Juggalo, thank you very much. The, oh, you got, jug, now, now Chris has got his CKCC's back on the sub list. Thank you, Juggalo, for hooking him up. Oh, oh, I didn't, you didn't need to do that, Chris. But thank you. You did not need to do that, my friend. I just, I'm glad to have you back. I just love people who've been a large part of our community. Sorry I had to, okay. Well, I'll forgive you, but dude, you never never feel obligated to, man. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Well, and there we are, 99. We're one away from getting the 100 subs, guys. I need my remote, there it is. All right, there we go. Okay, let's get Ugh. Yeah, this is a nice board. Okay, cool. I always like to look. Who's gonna do that last one and get us to 100? There we go, Yawning and Wolf Fighter, thank you very much. That's the way it always is. I love it because our community is enough that both people step up. Okay, well let me update the giveaway stuff. We're on our way towards 150. Love to give away 30, 50 or something like that today. We'll see what happens. But, I'm just, man, I'm just glad to see. I love it when people come back, and just say hi. Um, okay, so we are on our way to $150 new gift card. We need 150, we have 101. Okay, next goal is up, guys. Yes, Pillsbury, we, uh, I finished the, I finished the, uh, I finished the, some of the case fans. This is, we just now started the motherboard. Uh, so usually we do the motherboard first, but this time we're, we uh, decided to do the case fans first because they're just kind of like a giant, you know, they're like a chore a little bit, so. We kind of did it backwards today. Oh, I love that pop. There we go. Okay, so there is that. Here is our $20,000 thing of RAM. I don't think it's really 20K, but that's what it says on, uh, that's what it says on Corsair. $20,000. You know. Hey, Dewum Slayer, it's good to see you too. You've probably been here, I just haven't noticed you. I just like, you know how much I love your name. Yeah, once you pop, you can't stop, that's right. Yeah, the clicks need to be 200 bajillion decibels. Okay, we can finally start putting uh, stuff inside of the MOBO now. Box.
Okay, let's get this RAM in. Let's check, let's get the clicks. Let's see what our clicks are today. DDR5, 64 gigs, guys. 64 gigs of DDR5. Check it out. A beautiful RAM, so pretty. There we go. Okay, first click. Eighty-seven point eight. Eighty-seven point eight. It sound. It was a good. It was a good sounding click. I felt it in my in my groin area. It made me happy. So uh, those plats are. Yeah. There you go. It's a solid feeling, Ram. Here we go. One more. Oh, music. Sorry. Let me show, Let me stop the music. People are like, what are you doing, Roby? You're outside of tradition. This is a non-traditional build right now. Non-traditional. Okay, here we go. 94.7 on that one. Double crunchy click. Like, so if we like, if we, it was like it was like a little bit of motion here. We got some emotion as it like popped in, and yeah, yeah. Whoo! A little bit of motion. So there it is. <laughs> oh, Langy, it's okay. Ooh, yeah, seen better for sure, but not $20,000 in price, double crunchy. There it was, it just made it double crunchy for the build instead. Now we only have two clicks today, which is kind of a bummer, but that is what we got. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's start the music again. Everybody get down, it's groove. We're getting a, we're getting a build built. Your decibel meter is bad. House of Tom, how dare you? How dare you? That's right, like a chiropractor adjustment. How dare you, Tom? Now this build has lots of stuff that explains why it's 50. Like for instance, uh, Fire Cuda 530s. That's not that's something else that doesn't help with a good shot with the good with the good cost. There's lots of things that brought the cost of this build way up. You had to make it weird. <laughs> I make everything weird. I'm just awkward, but I have fun. That's all that matters, right? We gotta have fun when building. Oh, oh there it is. There's those Fire Cuda 530s, the, literally the fastest NVMe SSDs you can buy and highest terabyte written endurance. These are like magical NVMe SSDs. If you guys watched that episode that we uh, showed uh, that just came out, we got Zach. Zach's gonna work on some uh, animations and stuff for us. So we might have some new emotes and stuff like that coming too. 104, guys, we're on our way to the 150. It's magic, it's magic. Man, they give you all sorts of stickers in these, in these ones. What? Oh, I need to see something, guys. I'll be right back, one sec. Oh. What do I need to see? Is anything wrong with that data? Oh yeah, dude, that's really hot. <laughs> hey guys, I think a CPU temperature of 6,553.1 Celsius uh, or 1,827. Yeah, that's, and my more, negative one on the motherboard temperature. <laughs> that is the, uh, that's, that seems fine. That seems okay. 
Hey guys, uh, we found a uh, mother our CPU temperature for our one of our motherboard for our we're testing that Cooler Master Purple build, and it says we have a CPU temperature of 65,000. I don't think that's very good. <laughs> it needs the temp of the sun. <laughs> it's uh, I was like, holy crap. That seems fine. Like he, he was like, he was like, he was like, you need to come see us. I was like, uh-oh. That was Celsius. Uh Finador, uh, I think they're actually compatible. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh that, that seems fine. That seems like it's gonna work just fine. I think it's compatible with LGA 1700, um, but I'm not sure. Like uh it's weird, like I agree, it, it makes it hard like with uh, buying AIOs for Alder Lake, whether they're LGA 1700. I will say most of them, uh, look on the, when you purchase it, it will tell you um, if it's LGA 1700. Like everybody's updated their, um, everybody's updated their product descriptions. The sad thing is, is if you get it, um, you can go onto their website and you may have to order, they'll, they'll send you a free bracket. The good thing is, is that with the CPU guys, with that temperature of the CPU, the motherboard was at negative one degree Celsius. Look at you guys with all your Intel jokes today. Everybody's telling Intel jokes. Okay, let's grab our 500 gig right here. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's 500 gigs installed. Okay, next up, we're gonna do the two terabyte down at the bottom. We're gonna put it over here so we can make sure that it's double cooled. given this one will definitely need to be. And it's double-sided, which is awesome. There we go. I need to peel this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's all squared. Now we need to grab our bracket. Now, a couple things, I uh, just wanna give you people an update because we're about an hour in. We have about 800, 700 people here. Um, so we do have some giveaways that are happening during the show, typical thing, but I'm just gonna run through them real quick. One, if we get two level five hype trains, which we've already had one, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. If we get 500 likes on the YouTube, which I think we're over halfway, right? Uh, we're also gonna give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Finally, new giveaway that's happening, it'll be after the show is over, head on over to youtube.com slash robytech, leave a quality comment, so not I get a free PC, you are the best, that sort of thing. Leave a quality comment, some feedback, et cetera, uh, in, the uh, in the comments down below, uh, and then uh, as long as you like, subscribe, and then you also uh, leave a way for us to contact you in your YouTube, we're giving away $25, just $25 Venmo, cash, anybody worldwide, et cetera, uh, for, uh, we'll choose one of those individuals and give away a $25 thing, uh, $25 uh, in cash to you as well. Now, lastly, uh, down in the bottom corner, you'll see 100 and 
five. If we get to 150, it becomes a $150 Nui gift card. Uh, 250, it becomes a 5600X. 300, it becomes a 3050, then a 5800X, and it starts to grow from there. So hopefully we'll get to that 5600X or something big like that. That would be huge. That'd be a lot of fun for us today. Uh, and then lastly, we have our last day. This is the last day to get in on a 3070 Ti. So if you want to get in on that, head on over to twitch.tv slash Robitech. You have to, it's a free, it's our, sorry, it's our sub only giveaway at twitch.tv slash Robitech. So head on over if you're over at youtube.com slash Robitech or twitch.tv slash Newegg, pop on over here, drop your Prime subscription, use your Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you have a free subscription to Twitch. And then from there, you can drop that. And then uh, if you've been gifted a sub, then you can use that and actually double your chances. In fact, the person who won a 3080 Ti in July actually won just off of a single Amazon Prime subscription. Now you can get extra entries, one extra entry for every gifted sub, or you can subscribe at tier two or tier three that gets you five extra entries and 10 extra entries respectively. Now you'll see people like CKCC, uh, like uh, Red Dragon Zombie, those guys, they've actually already won and they, you can't win a GPU again for a long time. So even though we have some people gift a lot of subs, a lot of those guys can't win um, uh, GPUs again. So if you want to do it, again, good chances, all that sort of stuff, and that is still happening as well. Now back to our build. Okay, so now we're going to put our bracket on and all that stuff. Drafaz. Oh, Drafaz, you haven't won. Have you not won? I, I don't remember. Sorry, it's we we give away a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. Um, but I did. Have you not won, Juggalo? I think you. I don't think you've won. I just don't want you to win, because then you're not. Then you'll abandon us, and leave us alone to cry. <laughs> For some reason, I think you have. So, uh, but I, I wasn't, I, I'm not 100% sure. I thought you had, CK. taking this all out. I didn't need all of this. Crud. I was just getting distracted. Well, some of this back. Okay. What I need is the mounting stuff for Intel. We've already done the test with this. It's just already, the bracket's already on the back. Okay, just getting our stuff in. Uh, you just gotta, you just gotta be uh, subscribed. That's all you gotta do, and then we, it, the system takes care of the rest. What do you call it when Dwayne Johnson buys a cutting tool? Rock, pay for scissors. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay. This stuff is all stuff we'll use later. Okay, there is that. 
And now let's get our thermal paste on. Stuff spreads so easily, you don't need too much of it. I still put too much on. Even after I warn myself. Okay, get all our stuff to clean, etc. I'm gonna take a drink. Okay. Let's get this spread. This is like my favorite thermal paste because it's just how easy it is to spread. A lot of this, like even the stuff that I've got, like even though I've got a little bit of thin spots, there'll still be a lot of pressure, so you'll, so you'll still get spread. But you've got the entire IHS covered, which is great. Okay, all clean and ready to get mounted. Okay, so our motherboard is pretty much ready. Let's get this on. Okay. Finally mounting in the case, but before I do that, I'm going to do one thing. It needs to be done. We're gonna go ahead and mount our S or HDD, and then scoot this. Oh, we can't scoot this over. I forgot. We're just gonna mount our HDD. This is why we have a 6,000 watt PSU. I mean a G6 PSU. Let's go ahead and put this in. A little bit easier if I do it now. It's just not hanging out. WD black, four terabyte drive. go locked in go ahead and drop it in there we 
go. Okay, so now that's all in. Let's flip it over. Bands and everything look really good, clean. Okay, let's get our motherboard in. There we go. Okay, motherboard is in. So many Velcro additions. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here we need our, not that. these, which is our motherboard screws. It's funny because like, even though we're using the fan hub, I mean, this motherboard has so many freaking fan hunters. screws we're good to go one more it's got a big old VRM on it man Okay, there we go. So, motherboard is now in. Next step, let's go ahead and mount our AIO. It's just gonna be the most time, and then from there we'll put in our, uh, actually no, let's go ahead and uh, just for the sake of keeping cables from flopping around, let's add our front panel connections here. And before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and mount Go ahead and mount our single QL120 to the back. This is fan number seven. There's still six fans to go.
go. Okay. So if tickets over halfway with the fans, which is good. Got a peel to do. Igor, thank you very much for the gifted sub, giving it out. W5ERX Radio, thank you for the resub. Nine month anniversary. Skies or full. Thank you for two months, my friend. 117, that's Master Chief's number. Okay, two more. Texas Horny Toad. Dropping his two month anniversary, oh no. Yeah, two month anniversary, thank you, Texas. Okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna worry about cable managing our back cable here. So we're gonna go to side here. Figure out how to keep this clean. Okay, so that takes care of keeping that in and down and hidden. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and route our front panels. So we have, this is our CPU optional, CPU fan. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for CPU optional. So that's our rear fan. So that's, that takes care of our one. We'll, we'll hook up the other one too there. Okay, so we've got our CPU optional fan. Let's go ahead and run our other front panels. So they're, they're done so you guys can see them come through. First one is our USB 3.2, which is right here. 
Now it's sideways in this build. I mean, in this case, in this case, in this motherboard. It's nice. There you go. There you go. That looks nice. I like how clean that's going to look. Okay, we're on our USB 3.2. I mean, our USB 3.2 Gen 2. Yep. So that'll come up. Oop. That is also lower. Right here. Make sure if it's too hard to push in one way, then just flip it around. That cable is actually uh, directional. Okay, so now the other ones will lay down to install. Okay, this is our fan hub, which I don't want to run on CPU, but I can run it on the third one. So I'm going to go up with this. How low does this go? Actually, it's pretty low. Oh, we can run this down here. Okay, so we got room. That'll be, that's our fan hub. Wrecker, Box 8813, thank you very much for the welcome to the family. Oh, Wrecker, thank you for the gifted sub. I'm sorry. And then uh, Box, welcome five month anniversary. Thank you. We're just getting all of our stuff through here. Make sure it's pulled way through. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this. This is our USB for our, for our AIO. Go ahead and run that now. There we go. And then I have one other one. So I'm gonna run this through. And this one is gonna go this side. Right there. Okay. Okay, so we've got all the primary, then we can just lay this down and finish doing the installs for everything else. That'll take care of all the front panels. Cool. Let's go top down. The first one is we're going to grab our, our hub. This is for our fan hub. So this will take care of six fans in one connection. Nice. Okay. Next one over here, we'll go ahead and take this. This is going to be our HD audio. Okay, and then lastly, we have our front panel connections, power switch, power plus and minus, and reset switch. It's easy. So we'll go ahead and put power switch and reset switch in first. And then we'll do power plus and minus last, making sure they're the right way. There we go. Okay, so there's all our front panel connections. Oops. That is not in the right place. No, it's not. Didn't quite put reset switch in the right place. So I'm gonna move power switch. There we go, now it's in the right place. Okay. So like I said, power plus and minus, 
This is our fan hub. USB for our USB for our AIO, USB for our RGB controller. This is our HD audio. We've got a USB-C device, USB 3.2, and then this is the exhaust fan. Now all of the other fans, the six other fans we're going to install, which will be up here in a push-pull configuration, those will actually all be controlled via the commander core that'll plug into the, uh, the split uh, down here. And so now, flip it over, let's just pull the cables a little bit taut and then we'll build our AIO. Just gonna pull these taut so they're straight. I was like, one of these connections is not, oh, that one. I was like, wait a minute, that's this, okay, there we go. So there's all of our HD audio, our, these are our front panel connections. go. Guys, we've almost completely emptied out a giant, massive bag of of um, zip ties, like it's like getting there. Now don't worry, I have more giant bags of zip ties, but some about like knowing how many zip ties I go through sometimes with builds is pretty funny. Okay, so there's that one. Front panels are out of the way. twist upon and bring that out. Just little things about like cable order and orientation that just is gonna make this a whole lot easier. Sometimes there's some like rewiring as you kind of figure that stuff out. Just to make it look better. Okay. Okay, so that's all squared now. Now what I can do is take our HD audio cable. I really did that again, didn't I?
Okay. Okay, so that takes care of that. This will go now back where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna get this stuff cable managed while we're at it. Out of the way. Slowly making our way through, guys. Ugh. Yeah, this is RGB. This is the cost of RGB, like in a nutshell, right? You know what I mean? In terms of this is the this is the this is the nutshell work of just flat out like this is what RGB costs is sometimes and like you know lee and lee and those sort of things like make it a little bit better but it's usually just a lot more cabling a lot more finding how to zip tie stuff up or you know if you're into velcros then velcros too i'll do this as we go because you guys don't get like hours. It's like if I would have done this like later, it could have been hours of, of uh, doing this at the same time, you know? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and, I wasn't gonna do that, but I can do that here. Hours of cable management. Well, it wouldn't have been hours, but it could have been an hour of cable management. Now it's just broken up, so you get a little bit of entertainment in between. This stuff is all gonna go down this path. This is gonna be the more hard. I just need my big one. Okay, so that's all clean and Okay, so all that stuff is hooked up, front panels are hooked up. We're good there. This is gonna run our cooler. Just got some stuff to run down the edge, which we'll worry about later, because we have this, and I think there's 
Is this the only one? Oh, yeah, the fan hub too. Yeah, this. Which is such a weird, but there we go. We get this stuff out later. There's stuff underneath for now. So it doesn't flop around. have another cable to do there. Okay, so there we go. Cable management is in process. We still have one more cable. This is our RGB one, but for the most part, it, it still is moving the way it's supposed to. It's RGB stuff. Okay, let's get our AIO built. Urgh! Kind of the last, last big piece of the build. Okay. Last group of fans, guys. Last six fans going on this. Okay. We started with zero fans, now we have installed. We have installed, when this is all said and done, we will have installed 13 fans into this build. Hey, uh, Glenn, you can you can grab all that stuff down there too. Because I mean, might as well. The only thing that you won't have there is the the PSU. There's this too. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Figured I'd give you that while you're here. Okay, so there's that. Let's get these undone. These are almost double. This is like double done. Interesting. Okay. go. Dang groomed fingernails. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it is a beast computer for sure. 
See you guys, we're getting coming up on the next, we're coming up on the next, coming up on hype train here relatively soon. We should try and see if we can get to 150 before the hype train. Gosh, darn it. When we get to hype train before the 150, then that gives us a really, you know, a better chance of giving away like a CPU or a GPU, something cool like that. The pipe train. It's the H150 Elite LCD. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we want this. We're gonna do it on the other side this time. So we want this like. Okay. It's got a much shorter cable thing. And I want them exhausting. Must have put it back in the, must have left it in the box. I'll be right back. I think I, yeah. <clears throat> put, I think I left screws in the box. <laughs> must have. Yeah, well, we'll find them. We'll find them. Here in here. Yep, they're there. Kind of important these mount screws, guys. Okay. Okay, we got them. We got the screws. Everything's fine. Oh crud! I just realized. Oh, I think they gave them to me. Ooh, we'll find out. I may not be able to do push pull, guys. I just realized I don't have the. Uh, actually, no. We have a lot of screws. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Okay, there we go. Now we can just put the rest of these in. Just zip right in. Okay, now one thing I am gonna do is grab a pin. There we go. And write one. Two. And then three. Okay. Okay, so now we can Tie all these together. I don't care as much about 
No, I guess I could. Just so he can control. Because he probably do want to like lose. This is one. Two. And the reason I labeled those guys is so that I can find them when I, uh, in the IQ. So people like, so they're in the right order on the hub. So that way we can actually do the lighting and everything. I'm just doing this so I can there we go okay here comes the fun part top mounting the AIO with push pull That's right. It's gonna be a crazy. Okay. So we have all of our fans now. We're down to our last three fans that need to be installed. Throwing a knife around. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, they're there. Okay, so. see if I can get some numbers on this. I can see that, right? Four. Five. Six, okay. So we want I'm gonna shoot. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, and I'll, I'll make this go down much lower.
Okay. We've got a push pull configuration. Okay, what I'm doing right now is just pulling all the cabling through. Okay. Okay. There we go. Push pull 13 fans installed now. Now we can just seal these up. Okay. There we go. Thirteen fans are now installed, guys. I don't think we can add any more fans. I don't think we can add any more fans. Not unless we start getting creative. Okay. Okay, so let's just get our AIO mounted. I've already taken the thermal paste off of this AIO, so we just gotta mount it. And then uh, we'll run our cables up and then we'll cable manage the little bit we have left with the six fans we have to install. And RGB, but it's all, it all goes to like the same thing, so it makes it pretty easy. Okay.
there's already no thermal paste on this, so please, yeah, it's, it's already on the CPU already, guys. Actually, I'm just gonna take this off. Okay. okay I'm just gonna get this off. Okay. Okay, we're gonna plug this into AIO pump. It's right here. The rest of these cables we're gonna run through. Okay, just slowly bring our cables up. Last little bit of this part of the build. Okay, then what we're gonna do is just get this little small cable through. Okay, let's see how this looks from the top. Let's make sure we have something that looks pretty clean. by clean is just you have this big honking black cable here. I'm gonna try and see if we can get this little small cable to be tied with it so it doesn't look like try to get uni cable as much as possible. Yeah. 
Not a whole lot I can do more than that, but at least it's got that one cable hidden. Okay, so everything here looks good. All of our fans are now hooked up. We have every fan in. The only thing that we're missing here in the front is our, uh, our RGB ca our, uh, cables. Uh, I may have to, that's, that could be, no, that'll be okay. We're just gonna run one, uh, we, he actually wants both, so. Let's run these now before I get too crazy. We also need to run this through. Hey Thomas, can you order me more double CPU white Asia horse cables? Like two sets. Uh, shipping is shipping. Shipping slow is okay. I don't need them soon, but if you can order me a couple, that'd be great. Now this will have Lee and Lee, the Lee and Lee ones. They're just not here yet, so we're putting these. But he will need these for the CPU anyway, so. He ended up having to pay for these as well. So we're just gonna use these in the short term. Make his build, get his build done and tested and then we'll add the strimmers. See how these figure how these work are going to work. I don't charge for the zip ties. It's not something I do. Don't worry. There's no zip tie charge or up charge or anything like that. USB 3 is fully plugged in. It's up against the edge. Thank you for looking though. side. almost zero clearance for these things. I think I'm gonna have to run, I think I'm gonna have to take this down. Dang it. Yep. 
just to get these in. I think somebody warned me about that too. I'm, st I'm still like, like the thing is, I know they fit. It's just, I don't know how they're gonna fit. They're not gonna fit very well. It's gonna look a little compressed. That corner is pretty smushed. It's gonna have to go like that. Okay, see if that works. Trying to figure out how to get this to work. Oh gosh, darn, this is like. I don't know if, the, geez, this is not even clearing. It's, it's like. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the cable extensions all the way out. I don't think it'll actually let me use cable extensions. I can, I can use them down here, I think, but these are just gonna have to be as compressed as they can be. Okay, we're just trying to get the, like this thing has gotta be like, I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to do like a sideways thing or whatever it was to give myself the room. We'll have to see. At this point in time, I'm just trying to get the, the radiator in. I don't know 
what that had to do, but I don't know what I'm going to have to do, apparently. Okay. Okay, I got the radiator on. here in a minute once I get this screws where they need to be just to hold it in. I'll be honest, not the prettiest, but it's gonna have to do. Okay, well it's in, it's just not just not a lot of room for it. So one thing that's tough about some of these really big, thick VRM motherboards is like, you're like, oh, I'd love to do this thing, but no room. Okay, now we are at kind of a key part, right? Because, I don't like how this is like, Hole that I can do about it. I'm trying to get it over. I wonder if I can put a. Wonder if I zip tie it to here and hold it more. I'm trying not to have it have a split look, but I don't know if I'm able to do anything about that. I'm gonna try using a zip tie to kind of keep that clean. It's the only thing I'm gonna be able to do. I think. Yep, that's about what I'm gonna be able to do. Okay, but it's in and it's fixed. Okay. So let's get this flipped over. Hook up what we have left. Hook up what we have left and go from there. Okay. Which is just fans. Luckily, it's not as bad as it looks because most of this stuff is just, is all to the, it's all gonna go to this thing. Okay, so first thing we have is, let's get all this stuff separated. There's only three RGB, and there's six fans. Let's untwist it out as we can. Okay, so here's all our fans, and some of these are regular fans. So here's our that's written off. Okay, these are our first. These are our okay. 
So here's the fans for the AIO. Okay, so there's one. One. Two. Oh, that may not work. This might have to go in the middle. Man. Okay, well, we'll do them backwards then. Okay, so we'll do this backwards because we have more room here. So we'll do this. This is the front, this is the front. One, six, five, four, Now they're in order. Okay, let's start. What we're gonna do here is run our gauntlet here. side. <clears throat> okay, slowly we clean this up. Okay. Okay, and then what we're doing here, so 
So grab anything that we have extra. Get it kind of taut here. And clean that into the into the bottom. Okay, there's our fans, six fans, cable managed, ready. Let's get, cut these, which is, where's our cutters? And a giant red handle, Ruby. Where's my cutters? I found them. There we go. Okay, now all we have left is RGB, which is easy. So there's four. That looks like it might work. One, two, okay, here's one. Three and two. Okay, so I'm going to clump these together. I don't want to. I don't want to cut the other thing because that way, people know when the fan groups are done. So the you'll have the main fan and the RGB even though they're on the same kind of spine, but then it's just easier to basically find your, you're like, oh, if I cut them, then you'll know which ones are RGB versus um, fans. But RGB is gonna go straight, fans are not. center there. RGB always adds more complications from a... Okay, guys. We're essentially now at the very end of this. 
So what I have to do is close out. Okay, there we go. Now, RGB is... is also managed. Okay. Hey, Juggalo Jimmy, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. He's getting the hype going because we're getting close to being done with this. I told you this build was going to take a while. There's a lot of focus because it's just got a lot of cable management. Okay, so there is, for the most part, we actually are pretty... We'll have all of our SATA right next to each other, which is going to be good. Okay, and then we have, this is like more of a clump method, so there's, all the cables are not Basically in weird spots at least. Okay, let's just get this down here. go and one more here and then we're basically all we got to do now is install our GPU oh shoot there. crud let me see that Whoa, CKCC, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, my friend. Taking us up to 140.
Okay, now. It's a little surprise, I forgot to actually cable manage, but we have a nice secondary spine here for RGB and the thing there. Okay, so I have two connections here that need to go into this. There's that one, and then this one. Problem is, is that we now, we're starting to run out of it. Like we just have so much, oh crap. actually work actually that clump out of the way. And then now all of our power is all clumped together for SATA. Okay. So there is, I'll bring it, zoom it up so you guys can see, but there is a fully, the build is cable managed now. Got a couple cables to cut. There you go. A lot of cables because there's a lot of RGB but I think it looks clean, it's neat, it's channeled. <clears throat> the fan hub in the top, that works. So this, is, yeah, this does have, this is just a standard fan hub that'll run uh, a, a regular curve. I don't, it doesn't have a connection to the IQ, but it does, It uh, so you can't individually control it, no. So there's all your build stuff. No, 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 not, not, not for these, no. And I, some of these ones, like I'm careful about, like these larger cables, I'm, I don't crimp them. I just get them together. But the other thing too is, no, you don't get any noise issues. Not that we've seen from a performance standpoint. Okay, there you go. Let's get this down and then we'll zip this thing. Oh, really, Igor? Okay, so now everything is ready for us to in our PSU and our GPU. Okay, so let's flip it over. Take a drink. Take a drink. Enjoy a little peace and quiet. We gotta be, the, the, the thing must have, the the uh, 
the hype train has to have hit by now. We're nine subs away from 150, guys. Let's see if we can hit those last 150 and then we're good to go. Oh, look at that. What was that? No, oh, there's a screw I didn't put in. There we go. Okay, 13 fans, guys, 13 fans. But now all of our cables are clean routed. There's actually not a ton to do now. Let's just go ahead and put our GPU in. <clears throat> let's see if we can get those last, let's see if we can get those last nine subs. Drunk Woody, thank you very much. Zachy Dimes, thank you very much. Three, come on, let's get it out so we can, uh, we then when we hit the, the hype train, we're basically on our way to 250, which would be awesome. Oh, CK dropped some more subs. More fans than a Kid Rock concert. That's nice. Poor Kid Rock. What did he ever do? Okay, let's get this in. Six more subs, guys. I don't know, Spider, that'd be fun though. He exists, that's what he did. <laughs> You guys are, you guys are mean. The build is super close. The HEPA filter? No, no, I got, and the lanterns in here too. How are we doing with uh, YouTube likes? Oh, Red Pyramid Head, thank you very much, man. Six community, oh, and he started the hype train. Apparently we were really close to the hype train, so there it is. Red Pyramid Head started it. Chris Squall dropped six as well. That's taking it, there, guys, we're on our way now. We're on our way to the next tier, 250. Can we do it? What am I looking for here? This one. So we're at 157 and we've hit our YouTube goal, geez. Okay, so let me update this. We're on our way to a, a tier one CPU giveaway. We need 250, 157, right? Okay, I'm gonna check the, there we go. Look at all, CKCC dropping bits, Juggalo Jimmy dropping bits, Duwam Slayer dropping bits. Thank you very much, guys. Next goal is up. We're at level four, let's see if we can hit it. Let's see if we can hit that level five. I mean, let's see if we can get that giveaway. That'd be awesome. Thank you for all the bits, guys. Igor, thank you for another sub. Oh man, come on.
Oh, hold on. Brenda's calling in the middle of a hype train. It's Mrs. Roby calling in the middle of a hype train. Hype, hype! Hi! Hi! You're missing burritos and brownies and spicy fries. Well, I'm coming as quick as I can. I'm almost done. It's a, it's a, it's a big build. Okay, I will be there as quick as I can. Anyway, everybody says hi, Roby Two. Hola. Okay, love you, baby. Love you too, bye. Okay. CKCC giving out ten more gifted subs to get to one hundred and sixty. There's level five. Now we can, now we're on 170. Okay, let's pull this through. Slowly. It's always the fun part of figuring out how to get this down here. I wish I could, it's just because of the cable extensions, we can't do it this way. So it'll have, to, it'll have to be off to the side, but we can put this back up now. There we go. Okay, so there's two. Now we can do our GPU. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hype train, let's do it. Whoo, let's see if we can get to 200 at least. Let's see how far we can go. Two minutes left. Come on, guys, we got all the hype. Chris CKCC has helped get a ton. We've got Red Dragon. We got all sorts of people have dropped. Drop things, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get it up there. Everybody's like, nah, we need to get 250. There we go, Red Pyramid Head dropping four more. Cheat, cheat Teasy dropping five gifted subs. Here we are, we're climbing to 200 now. Tor Valerian Academy, 12 month anniversary. Happy one year, my friend. Can we give away a CPU? Okay. Let's grab our cra crazy, crazy. Oh. RTX 3080 Ti. Thank you very much. I try very hard. No, you're not. I don't know why you'd be. If you were banned, you wouldn't be able to type. Look at it, just waiting there. Oh. I was once sub for you a long time ago and I'm trying to sub right now, but it won't. Are you on the right channel, Confounded? You have to be at twitch.tv slash Robitech. You might be on Newegg and that's why. Yeah, you get bonus points for tier two, yes. 180, guys, we're so close. Oh, 20 subs. 20 subs to 200. Okay, GPU is ready. Let's get this in here. 
thick boy. We've already peeled it just to save time. <laughs> we just knew what we were up against today. Build is coming out great though. Okay. There it is. Looks great in a build. For the sub only giveaway, Dark Vanian, not the all the other normal giveaways today are not sub only. Yawning, dropping 20, taking it to 200. Yawning Salmon, taking us to 200. Guys, we're there. Coming up on a thousand concurrent today, too. That's a good, it's been a while since we've hit that number. One ninety nine, guys. Are we gonna give away a CPU? Oh, uh, went to one ninety nine. Dang it! He was like, "I'm gonna tease you, Roby." I think it's still. I'm very grateful. Remember, if you want to get extra entries in on that sub only giveaway, on that sub giveaway, we're gonna be doing Juggalo give. There he goes. One gut sub. He's like, "There you go. Two hundred." Um, you remember, you can get extra entries by gifting subs for that 3070. This is the last day to get in on that. I wonder if I had, do I have another set? I thought I did. I thought I did. I guess it's not here. Okay. Next up, the last bit. 202 guys, we're close. Guys, we are less than 100 away from giving away a 3050. Red Pyramid dropping his five gifted subs. The man, the myth, the legend. PC guy resubscribing with Prime, 10 month anniversary there. Igor dropping five gifted subs. We're getting there, guys. Wow, confounded drop. There he is, one community he gave a gifted sub to. You know what, I think I do. Hold on one sec. One more sub. Oh, that's, I did see it, okay. So, I think it does, okay, cool. Switch these. Looking for this. Just to make it look even. back to me. Dewum Slayer dropping five gifted subs. Thank you, Dewum Slayer. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow is Peloton and T Tonal for workout. Today was
Orange Theory. We're on an eight, me and my uh, team are on an eight week transformation challenge right now. And I'm actually, it's, it's perfect timing. It was like perfect timing for the whole thing to happen. Um, because we are also, just because it's also about to be training season for the, uh, for climbing. So just all worked out. So we're pretty excited about it. That's what I was looking for right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Hopefully, I really hope we'll be able to get to that tier. 3050 is a tier one CPU. 300 is a 3050 giveaway. And then 350 is a tier two CPU giveaway. <laughs> well, I also gotta make sure I take an, I need to hydrate. I have to drink, you're supposed to drink Half your, so you take your body weight and divide it by two, and then that's how many ounces of water you're supposed to drink a day. So I've had to drink a lot of water today. Uh, first summit is, a, is Adams. Uh, second summit is Rainier. Third summit is uh, Hood. But it might, we might end up having to bail on Hood and do just Helens. We're trying to figure out Hood. The other one that might be an option instead of Hood is Baker. It's discord.gg slash Robitech. Yeah, I summited Adams. I summited Mount Adams a couple of years ago. Yeah, the dude, that climb, so Town Scott, that climb to the, that, that uh, bit up to the fall summit is crazy. Um, that just that basically that angle and uh, did you when you were up there were all those butterflies too? Yeah, I've, I've drank. I think I've dried 80 ounces, 80, 96, 100 and I'm at 126 ounces I think so far. Plus I'll finish this Yeti, which this Yeti is I, th I don't know how many. I don't know how many ounces this is. Ugh. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Just putting these cable combs on. Yeah, it does. It looks like about 40 ounces, so that might be, that'll be another 40 ounces. I'll probably drink two more 40 ounces before the before bed, and then I get up tomorrow. I got a ride, probably a pop ride, 60 minute pop ride, 60 minute Peloton, 60 minute tonal workout, and then 60 minute, a uh, 30 minutes on the, sorry, 30 minute ride, 30 minute tonal workout, 30 minute run slash walk. And then I also get 10,000 steps a day. plus eating well. Okay, there we go. Think. I think we actually, what the heck is up with this? Okay, we actually got this now. Let me pull this down a little bit more, a little bit more.
Come on, baby. Never had this much problems. Oh, I don't still stop. There we go. No oh, good. Okay. I'm gonna get these through here. Okay, guys, and then we're just on PSU. Push pull 19 fans. So much done in this build as we keep climbing to finish this thing out. All we have is PSU. Then we'll do deals real quick. Then we'll do giveaways. Then we'll turn on after the deals. Okay. Front is done. Get the front for you. Wow, look at that. Sub goal reached. Holy moly, guys. We're on our way to the we're on our way towards a 3050. Two hundred and fifty. Okay, ending that one, on our way to an RTX 3050 giveaway. There it is. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Okay, let's flip this over. Put in our PSU. Okay. The end is nigh. Urgh. The end is nigh. The build is so, look at this. It's like just, it's basically like just waiting for the last couple cables and then we're done.
Okay, let's grab our 3060. I'm sorry, our uh, thousand watt G6. Okay. Uh, I don't know, what's our uptime? We started late at 2.30, so I don't know what our uptime is right now. Yes, I have used custom cable. Oh, well cables, I have used like cable mod cables. Three hours and 41 minutes, well there you go. Which actually, given everything in this build, is actually still pretty fast. Oh, that does, see the thing is, is that EVGA are like the least stinky of the PSUs. How many people have been here since the beginning? No, the thousand watt is needed so you can, with a 3080 Ti, so you can get the efficiency out of it. You should always, honestly, a 3080 Ti, you should use a thousand watts. Last box. Yeah, uh, Corsair is like the stinkiest. Okay, Let's see what do we got here? Three, I should probably just do two just to be safe. Molex, ooh. Okay, so there's two SATA. Super chat hype, who did I miss? What was the super chat hype? Blondie? Oh, Dono, it was a Dono, I missed it. Can you let me know what it is? It was Jez, no it wasn't, was it really? Was it really Jez? What did he give me? Jez? Five euro, oh, J no. Oh, it is, Robo Robots Tech. <laughs> T plus Vines plus Jez, oh, thanks Jez. I was like, it's not Jez, Jez wouldn't do that. I was wrong. Sorry Jez. There's your CPU, one. Split. <sighs> okay. Here it comes. Keep it going. We're almost there. We're giving away a 5600X or a 12600K at least. Or it might be a 12400, I don't remember. It's an i5. Okay, let's see what we need. This is all the cables we need. So let's scoot this over. We're good. We're good with this. This is all I have left of this giant bag. Is just these are all I have left of my of my zip ties for this bag. There were a thousand in there. I've used a thousand zip ties on the show. There we go, there we go. Okay, this is 
CPU. VGA one. Uh, we'll keep these all together. CPU two. VGA. Okay, and then two SATA. One for the hard drive. Okay. A little bit more full than what we typically do. Ooh. I get it in, but I gotta put the PSU in first. Is hitting. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. <clears throat> okay, that was uh, that was a little harder than it was supposed to be. Guys, this is it. Just got some cable management to do as we put this PSU in, and this massive build is done. So much, so much work. 13 fans, $5,800. It's a crazy build. Okay, now for restarting the music. It's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, uh, thirteen. Thirteen fans. I just got to find a place to put all these freaking cables. Okay, let's grab our peripherals. So we got one. Oh, really? Not really. I'm gonna have to go that way. It's like the worst. There's one. Two. 
two. Oh, there it is. Okay, we need to start. It's gonna be smart about space down here at the bottom. We got a lot of cables to manage and not a lot of space to put them. Okay, next up, other two. We're going to shove this one back in the back here. Keep it. Okay, now these, let's do RG, the, the GPU because that's just gonna be, I gotta find a place to jab all of the GPU cables. Here we go. Next GPU cable. Okay, last GPU cable. No, nope, that's CPU. Is that GPU? CPU, here it is. Okay, these have got to go someplace, like down in the, the bay down here. Maximizing this as much as humanly possible. Now for this one, what I'm gonna do is essentially just create like a little plunge type thing to kind of stick it down in this drive bay. There we are. Okay. It's gonna go down here. Actually, I'm sitting with half a brain, I think I'm gonna have to do this. There we go. We're gonna cable. You know, this much crap, you just gotta. Okay.
Okay. Last bit, the last two cables. CPU one and CPU two. Okay. Okay, the build is done. There it is. Fully cable managed. I think even the, the bottom area actually ends up looking pretty good. There's your full build. Everything kind of in and done. Let's just check her front. Ugh, make sure that this like shot out or anything. Nope, that looks good. Okay. Let's close up the back. Look at that. Even the door closes. How is that? <laughs> It's like all in all, you're like, hey, boom, and there's all your cable management, easy to see, and then looks good and all organized and all that stuff, and then just uh, ask Bomb Bob Yum. We've been doing that on this channel for almost every build is done that way because I don't believe in superstitions. Now, every once in a while, builds don't turn on, but it doesn't happen all that often. because I like to check to make sure it'll close. I I do, I will say this, not the smartest. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree that it is not the smartest thing to do, but I guess it's just because I've done literally hundreds and hundreds of builds. I guess I just got more confident. Okay. Oh. Oops, well, I guess I hit the button. Whoa, way high. Okay, that's right, I don't get to use this because I can't. It's all the extra stuff. Okay, let's put the top on. Well, let's put the front on. Oh, I can, that I can do with this one. There we go. Let's 
get our top on. Push pull config in. There we go. And there is our build ready to get turned on in just a few. For now, let's go and run our deals real quick and then we'll, uh, we'll then get to our giveaway. We are at 254, guys. We only have a little bit of time left before, so if we wanna hit that 350, if we wanna hit that 350, now's the time, guys. We're gonna run out of time here pretty quick. Unless, I doubt, I doubt Tom's got a bajillion deals. Yeah, so many fans. There's a lot of fans. There are a lot of fans. Okay, right, let's grab this. And then we will turn it on, and we have our giveaway. So we're at least giving away a 5600X. but we're super close to giving away a GPU. <sighs> okay, let's bring it up. <sighs> Thank you very much, Tented. Yeah, the front and side is intake, top and back is exhaust. And it's push-pull exhaust. So we have six fans in the top, all is set to exhaust, six fans in the front, all intake, and then a seventh fan for exhaust. Okay, let's hope this just works when I push the button. Let's see what happens. Nope, of course it doesn't. Dang you. <laughs> One sec, guys. You want to unplug and unplug. Ugh. There it is. Hey, there we go. Okay. So, last kind of deal, uh, robitechdeals.com. So, if you're ever looking for, I mean, there's, you know, over a thousand people here right now. And we'll get to our, turn our build on in just a minute, and then we'll do our giveaways. Um, and, uh, but just, if you're curious, like, Hey, I want to know about GPU deals, cheap PC tech, all that sort of stuff, uh, at Roby tech deals on Twitter and Roby tech uh, you can see, apparently it's Justin Timberlake's birthday too. Plus if you need to know celebrity birthdays, there's a bonus right there. Happy birthday, Justin Timberlake. But our website has stuff like showing the stream schedule. You also have access to things like our Robitech store. For instance, uh, so many people have been trying to buy our Robitech build mat. It's available now. You can buy it from here along with our other merch like our shirts and, and hats, etc. So that is also there. Also, if you're ever shopping at Best Buy, Amazon, Newegg, head here first, click through this link. It doesn't cost you anything more, but it does support us. And that is here as well links to the new age shuffle. And then of course, then you also have the tweets um, that he's finding all the time over at Roby Tech Deals. But really, really awesome location. Uh, get your celebrity birthday. The other thing too is if you're like ever curious about a certain build, we have all of our stream builds here. So if you like wanted to find the part specifically for this build, you can actually see that we have the whole thing right here for you to basically take a look at. Same thing with our other stream builds. So if there's any build and you're like, hey, I wanna know what parts are in there and the locations to get them, you can head there and check that out as well. Last thing that he likes, oh, couple things, one other thing. We have one of these, NZXT H1 Mini Plus PC that we have for sale. 
Uh, it's brand new. It was used once for a review. We have an extra one. Uh, we're selling it for 1200 bucks, which is 200 behind below retail plus tax and obviously shipping. So if you're curious about it, it's got a 10 700K, a 3060. Um, it's not, it's, it's the repaired, it's the repaired one. So it doesn't have the fire issue. Comes with Windows 10 Home, brand new. Oh, it does, oh, it's not showing. Oh, that sucks. I've literally just showed you a bunch of stuff and nothing here. Hold on, dang it. Showed up there for a second. Oh, hold on. There we go. So I'll go through and show you that stuff again. But uh, um, like I said, we have this NZXT H1 Mini Plus. It's regularly $1499. We have it on sale for $1,200. It's brand new, plus shipping and tax. It's got a 12600K in it, a 10700K, um, an RTX 3060 with 16 gigs of RAM, 3000 megahertz, and a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, it still has all the warranties, all that sort of stuff. We have one for sale if you want to pick one up. Um, and right there. Um, and then again, like I said, our Robitech store is here, which is our merch. You can see stuff like our build pads and then all of our regular t-shirts and stuff like that are all off of the site. And then here's robitechdeals.com where you can see, hey, happy birthday, uh, Justin Timberlake, but also things like our stream schedule. Here's the links that I was telling you guys about, links to the new Ake shuffle. And again, same thing. If you want more up to date, if you don't want to head to the website at Roby Tech Deals on Twitter, he's finding this stuff all the time. He probably updates 10, 15 times a day uh, with uh, tons of updates on stuff like that as well. Um, the NZXT cases are fire. This is uh, post fire, so it doesn't have that issue anymore without the fire hazard spurious. But again, really great deal, 1200 bucks. If you're curious one, just DM me on Discord. Uh, we can get you all squared away and get one out on the way. So uh, yeah, really, really easy deal. Um, and then, like I said, the other thing too, is it says where it's stream builds. If you click on this, this is a link to all of the builds. You can see uh, any of the parts that we use for any one of the builds. So if you were like curious about, hey, the last build that we did, what the, hey, it was a Fantex Glacier one, et cetera. So all of that stuff is available on the site. The last thing Tom likes to do is obviously deals. So let's check out the stream deals for today that he has found for us. So here it goes. Uh, any headset deals? We're gonna find out here in just a few, a few seconds. Uh, Intel Core i7 12700K. Uh, this is their 12th gen, uh, 13, their, I mean, their mid range, uh, great absolute CPU. This is actually what um, Tom just put in his system. $364.99 over on Newegg, so down, uh, what, 35 bucks. Uh, LG Ultra Gear, this is their 32 inch 1440p, so 2K, one millisecond response time, 165 hertz with 180 hertz overclock. It's a nano IPS, so really, really great screen. Uh, on sale right now for $396.99, so $200 off if you're looking for a great deal. Uh, MSI GF65, this is a 15.6 inch, 144 hertz gaming laptop with an i5, an RTX 3060, and a 512 SSD. Um, that is a great 1080p laptop. Uh, and again, eight gigs, if you upgrade it, if you upgrade it and go to dual channel, which we know you can do with an MSI laptop, uh, you're actually gonna improve your overall game performance by almost 15 to 20%. Um, so that's a great, I mean, a great combination if you're into gaming, et cetera, specifically FPSs, um, and even um, a lot of single player experiences at 1080p run 60 plus uh, on this laptop. NZXT Z73, probably one of our favorite AIOs. Um, the, key, the, the birth of the LCD um, AIO for the most part. I know a, uh, Asus did it, but I mean, a, NZXT kind of made it mainstream. Uh, $259.99, so that's $30 off uh, over at Newegg right now. Um, Rosewill Case Fan Splitters. Hey, you can never have enough of these. $7.49 for two, that's a great deal. Samsung 75 inch Q70A, this is their QLED. 4K UHD, uh, 700 bucks off. Um, so QLED, uh, so this is like their mid-range, their mid-range uh, 4K televisions, uh, 700 bucks off for a 75 inch. That is, dude, that's actually bonkers. $1,300 for a 75 inch television. Man, I remember when that used to cost a, a crap ton of money. Uh, Govi Immersion TV LED backlight with camera. Uh, this just this, this is just a fun thing. Um, I've used this on um, the one in my home office. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it has a little camera above that basically changes the lights all around it. So as you're gaming, uh, you get a lot of cool lights and reflections. So the games actually make it more immersive. It's actually really cool. I think the game, the, the one that I really enjoyed is uh, using it on The Martian, um, which was with, uh, which is with Matt Damon because um, it would switch between Earth and Mars. And every time Mars, we were on Mars, like the whole thing went red or white or whatever, which was actually pretty cool. Um, and it's 69 bucks. 
Uh, so for seven, you know, nice little immersion thing for seventy dollars. Uh, MSI Radeon RX 6900 XT. Hey, less than seventeen hundred bucks. That's actually a really good price for a 6900 XT. This is like the equivalent of a 30 uh, high 3080 Ti. So really, really great uh, GPU. Obviously, they have FSR, so they're starting to catch up with um, NVIDIA. Um, still no DLSS, but that FSR plus Intel's XESS. And NVIDIA has now got a AI algorithm that is um, agnostic as well. Um, so some pretty cool stuff. And if you're looking for just a, a rad card, 1500 bucks for a 6900 is actually a really good deal. Uh, you can buy the Gundam. Holy crap, they have these for sale again? I bought one of these and it never showed up. This is the Gundam Limited Edition. It's got an i7-11700K, a Strix GeForce, the Gundam GeForce RTX 3080, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte NVMe SSD. These used to be $4,000 because they were just like, it's all limited edition parts. Um, it's on sale for $36.99. That's actually pretty cool. Like th these things sold out so quick. So the fact, are they even still in stock? I'm curious if this is even still in stock. Oh man, it's still in stock. And the sale ends in five. So if you want like a, if you are looking for a rare component PC, that is an actual, that's that's a steal. For 500 bucks, like I tried to buy it when it was like 4,000. Um, Asus Tough Gaming 27 inch, their 1440p R HDR monitor. This is 165 Hertz, 0.4 millisecond. So extreme low motion blur, speaker G-Sync. Oh, it's G-Sync. Uh, vase amountable. So that's actually a really good price. 260 bucks for a uh, 27 inch uh, 2K, 165 Hertz, uh, ultra, ultra responsive um, uh, monitor. So $260, it's pretty good. Uh, G-Skill Triton Z RGB series, uh, 32 gigs uh, for $130, pretty good. Uh, SN850, uh, this is great for the PlayStation 5 as well. It's a one terabyte if you're looking for that. Uh, $159.99, um, and you get a free heat sink. So great for your PlayStation 5 thing right there if you're looking for a good NVMe SSD for your... Uh, Ryzen 9 5950X. Do you remember when these were like 750 bucks? $684. That's a heck of a deal for a 5950X. Uh, and uh, $684.98 uh, over on Newegg. And then Amazon, Creative Pebble. I, he keeps putting these up there. I don't, I don't know, are they even good sounding? I mean, I don't, I don't know. He, li he likes to put these up there all the time and I don't know if they're actually any good. So anyway, guys, those are the deals for today. Uh, no headset deals. There probably is some headset deals. We probably just didn't put them up there. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, that, is, that is good. He, Tom has them and they're great, but understand Tom's deaf. Um, Cause the AI, we didn't program them with the ears. So yeah, it's going from there. Um, good job today, Tom. Uh, re really great find with that Gundam PC. Um, and uh, do they pebble instead of rock? Okay, Spurious ECG, that's a quote of the day right there. Um, do they pebble instead of rock? Uh, great job, Tom. And so really good deals there for you. Uh, 6900 XT was one of my favorites. That's a really great price for that card. Uh, that Gundam PC um, and that MSI laptop, uh, all really good options. Because the MSI laptop for like, what, 150 bucks? Maybe 160 bucks, you can turn that into a killer laptop. Uh, just by upgrading the RAM and throwing in a one terabyte NVMe SSD. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah, and that, yeah, and you know what, you're right. The, those monitors, man, actually it was just a good day for deals. Was it not? And I always like good days for deals. Okay, let's get this stuff back over here and we'll get this out of the way and then let's get this booted up and put it in mood mode. Um, I would say 2K. So any one of those, uh, any one of those ones that we just showed are great. Uh, honestly, that LG, that 32 inch LG, if you want something that big, that 27 inch tough um, is really good. Um, I, I like the OLEDs or the mini LEDs if you want to spend some extra money, but any of those are good, creamy thick. Will it work? Ugh, it's happening guys. The build has gotten to this point. I like how people have so much faith in me. They're like, will it work? We will find out. Ugh. Okay, let's get it plugged in. Guys, we are, we're so close to a 3050. Can we make a 3050 happen? I wanna give a GPU away. We're so, I've never, we've never been this close. Well, we have, but I mean like in terms of just a regular stream, that's actually a pretty good deal. Okay. There we go, let's put on mood mode. Let's take a drink, take a drink. Just taking a moment, second all in. This build has been weighing on me because I knew how long it was gonna take. 
Okay, guys, let's turn mood mode on. Almost another 40 ounces here. Oh, let's go this way, okay. Okay, here we go, mood mode. Here we go, moment of truth. JLDG, thank you for trying to get us there. Turning it on. And boom. Oh, did I did? <gasps> oh, it's on. That scared me there for a second. I was like, <gasps> oh, are the top ones not lit? Oh, some of them are not lit. Did I forget to plug something in? Okay, so the loop is up. All the fan, oh no, oh, never mind, guys. These are just, so the fans are fine. They are actually lit. The thing is I have to set them in IQ, check it out. See, the fans are actually lit. I forgot they're MLs, so they will, they'll be partially lit until we change them in, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, software. So right now they're just set for the ML Pros and it's not gonna change until we fix that. So yeah, it's, they are, they, they, everything is lit up. And by the way, also, also, what is that? That is a post, ladies and gentlemen. It has posted and it's not, the CPU error is because we don't have anything plugged into the CPU, the CPU header, but it is posted and it all works. Everything, first time with the cable management, and everything. And so, yeah, the reason we're not getting any lighting here is just because of the uh, the fan changes. But man, 23 degrees right now. Look at that. Look at that idle temp on that on that. Uh, oh, that's a liquid temp. So again, well, it'll it'll warm up. But still, I mean, that's a great liquid temp for an idle 11900K, 12900K. That looks really good. I have to say. And it's, it's actually not that loud. And again, remember we have push pull, so we have six fans at the top. And there it is, guys, your build. Can I have the PC, please? <laughs> okay, well, it is time. Oh, can I show the top fans? Yeah, they're, they're, don't, they're not doing anything, but yeah, I can show, I mean, they're just, spinning. I can go to top one. Let me go to this. Top view. And then here you go. There they are right there. So there is the whole build. I can feel that air, it's fun. Would you, you, would you think I didn't think they were working? You were like, you were hoping they didn't, they were, they were not working. There it is guys, it looks so good. Yes, now it does. Uh, uh, it, Intel is better than, uh, it outperforms, um, outperforms uh, AMD now. Uh, Zachy Dimes 3080 is an Intel 1000 sub, so no. Wait, I, didn't we have the like, isn't the YouTube likes already done? It didn't, it went to the next tier. Oh, did it go down? Hold on, let me just check. No, it's not, it's right. That's the right number of subs, so yeah. Yeah, we hit 616 on C, yeah. Yeah, I know, so close, but yet so far, 40 subs away from that. Okay, well, let's do the first giveaway, guys. This'll be for two 250 gig NVMe SSDs. <clears throat> uh, two 250 gig NVMe SSDs. Uh, so we'll be doing that first. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's do that first, uh, let's do that first giveaway. Exclamation point community, guys. Exclamation point community. And 
And that's for two 250 gig NVMe SSDs starting that giveaway right now. Two minutes, guys, two minutes. Bittersweet got five more. He's trying to get us there. People are starting to step up now, trying to make it happen, knowing we have some time. Two minutes, guys. 266. Man, that looks good. Like just walking around the corner to it also looks really good. Man, that is a cool, this is a great build. This little vortex, there's so much, like it's just gonna put so much air into the GPU. I mean, still look at that idle. Like it's like now even sitting the way it is and the idle temp sitting at 26. I mean, it's, it's soaking now. Man, it's just a pretty build, pretty build. We're gonna retire this bag of zip ties. A thousand zip ties, rip. New bag for the next build. Look guys, don't worry, we got, got lots more. Lots more zip ties. It's a new round for the next tier. Okay, congratulations to Shadow1396. Shadow1396, and we're just waiting for our second winner. And Goober Psycho, Goober Psycho. Congratulations to Goober Psycho and Shadow1396. Okay, so just, we're getting ready to do this last one. Uh, 100, it'll be for a 5600X, or sorry, tier one CPU. Um, your, your choice, uh, Intel or AMD. Um, just as an update, um, we are going to uh, also, when this is done, don't forget we have that other giveaway that's available. All you gotta go to YouTube. Uh, when the, the video is done, head over to YouTube, leave a quality comment, give us some feedback. Let us know what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy. Uh, and make sure you like and subscribe. And then also that we have a way to contact you in your YouTube profile, because we're gonna be choosing a random person uh, uh, for every stream who wins $25 just cash uh, as a thank you. So we've had a ton of people, great feedback. We've made some changes already, uh, you know, that you'll see because of it. But yeah, there's a good chance for doing that. So that's another giveaway. Once the stream is done, head on over there, leave a comment, let us know what you enjoyed about the stream and pretend, perhaps walk away with 25 bucks uh, for that as well. All you gotta do is like, subscribe and make sure that there is a way for us to get a hold of you. And we will never, I wanna, quick, quick caveat. I will never tell you if you won in a YouTube chat. It will be a direct communication via at RobyTech email address. It will never be uh, some thing underneath that says, hey, congratulations, you won. There's never anything like that. So if you see that, that's almost always spam and it's not from us. So just so you go from them. Okay, so let's see. Uh, next giveaway is for, we did not hit the thing. So this is for a 5600X or tier one CPU. Uh, exclamation point, new egg now. Okay, starting that, we're gonna call, do I have a tier one, one I already had? 35, 50, 50, 30, 60, one terabyte. No, we don't. Okay, so we'll just change this to it. Okay, starting that right there. Okay, giveaway is started right now. 
Two minutes, guys. Two minutes, guys. One minute and 13 seconds left still. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Got 45 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds guys. Okay, drawing our winner in just a second. Congratulations to Painful Split. Painful Split. Congratulations, guys. Painful Split. You are the winner of a tier one CPU, either a 5600X or equivalent on the Intel side. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much uh, for being here today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Next stream is on Wednesday. We're actually gonna be doing a stream on Wednesday because I have, no, on Thursday. It'll actually happen on Thursday, my bad. Next stream is on Thursday because I'm not traveling this week. Um, so we'll be having another stream on Thursday, another commission build. So it should be super, super awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really enjoy this. I know this was a longer build. Over a thousand concurrents this time, guys. Over a thousand concurrents across all of our channels, which was rad. Um, and uh, love, love hanging out with you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great night and we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye guys. And don't forget about that other giveaway. Just leave a comment on a good quality comment, not I deserve the win over on youtube.com slash Bye guys.